Hi, this is Juicebox from Canada's Drag Race Season 1. If you know who I am, awesome. If not, go and watch it. It's excellent. On this channel, I'm definitely going to be doing tons of stuff. Uh, not just makeup. I'm going to be doing reviews. I'm going to be learning how to sew live on camera with you guys. So I really hope you uh, follow me along for that journey. I am both horrified and excited for what it's going to for what it's gonna be like, but hopefully I can learn how to do something, at least put two pieces of fabric together. Today we are gonna be doing my entrance look from Canada's Drag Race season one, episode one, with a little bit of a twist on it. So without waiting any longer, let's get to it. I always, always, always start with eyebrows first, just cause I find that they anchor the face, they're a little bit easier to do the eye and it's a little bit easier to kind of like move things around when you have those eyebrows on. Now I don't block my eyebrows, laziness. It is pure lazy. <laughs> One day I was just like, you know, what if I just like don't block my brows and just like get rid of like the end or like just groom them? And I did and I was like, oh, I'm stunning. <laughs> so I stopped. And basically with my brow, what I like to do is I just, I shave off this part of it. So this part of my brow is completely gone. Uh, and I take it and I lift it up and I bring it down, right? So my natural brow stops about here and then I add a tail to it. So my regular brow would go this way, but I'm bringing it up here. Basically that's it for my brows. I've started using this like recently. It's not something that I ever thought I would use, but I started using primer. Oh my God. I started, <laughs> I started using primer and I never used it before. I never think I really needed to, but I started because I started noticing I have these fun little crow's feet um, under my eyes because I'm not 25 anymore. So. I just put that all over. I use the NYX pore filler. Um, and I'm gonna be honest, I only use the NYX pore fillers because they sent it to me and I have no money <laughs> for anything else. <laughs> so that's on my face. So I just rub that all in. And then from there, I go right to my eyes. Lazier. So uh, I go in, I trim up underneath my brow. So I just cleaned that line right there. Oh yeah, that's better. <gasps> We're learning together. <laughs> So uh, I zoomed right in on that so you could see a little bit better, but I just kind of paint all over my eye with the white. I'm gonna do the same over here. It, we've got it on there. It's a little bit messy right now. I don't want it to be super, super clean quite yet. So we're just gonna go in uh, just with my sponge and just blend that out. I'm not too overly concerned about what's happening underneath my eye right now. I just kind of want to get that nice flat white surface over my lid. So I've got these big white garage doors now. This is like the cleanest palette I have. <laughs> so you can see it. Ooh. What I'm going to do here is we're just going to take that kind of like warmer tone in the browns, this, this guy right here. And right on the eye, just making sure it's in the right spot. Right on the eye, I'm just gonna kind of create a C shape. And if you noticed, I haven't set the eyeshadow. I learned this from Helena Poison. She's a really talented queen in Toronto. If you don't set it, the color payoff is a, a little bit better, especially if you're doing drag and you really want that, that really bold color. Oh, I've heard it. So then from there, I'm gonna go with, with the darker color. Uh, it looks just like that. And I'm just gonna hit the outer corner. So now I'm gonna go in with the white. And what I'm gonna do is just go right over the lid and just pack that color on. So now I'm gonna take that pink and, and I'm basically just gonna use this browns that we did as a base for everything that we've that I'm gonna kind of do now. So I'm just kind of covering that all with pink and just buffing it out. I like to use the brightest pink possible. Um, Cause remember this is for stage. So 
I really want to bring the warmth back into my eye. And I find that pink does that the best. Great. So now that we have that pink completely on and it's gone all over the brown, it still gives that gradient that the brown underneath had, but it just brightens it all up a little bit nicer. I'm gonna highlight right up here at the brow bone and then we're gonna go in with our liner. I'm gonna start at the outside of my eye, go slightly underneath, not too far, and just sort of create my wing. Okay, just like that. Then from there, I'm going to take from the top and pull towards my inner corner. I'm not overly concerned about the top just because it's gonna be covered by lashes anyway. And also some black eyeshadow, but it's nice to get a vague idea of what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna let that dry just a little bit, but now we're gonna go in with the black, cause see how it wings? I kind of want it to look a little flatter and blend in with this pink a little bit more. I'm gonna take a little bit of a denser brush, something a little bit smaller, just like this. Go in to my black. I love the Urban Decay Blackout. It's one of my favorites. I find that it's the blackest black that I've been able to use and I just go right over the whole wing just to darken it, set it a little bit, set it on, forgot it. And then from there, I'm just gonna go right at the outer corner and gradually blend up. See, so now it's got a little bit more smoothness on top rather than that dip that it had. Then I'm gonna go back in with the pink. I find that I just need to blend here a little bit more. Blend out that black. Okay, so now that both eyes are done just from here to here, it's a super, super simple way to, to do it. Uh, I'm gonna worry about the rest of my face and then we're gonna revisit it. I find if you stick too long on the eyes, you end up just getting like too concentrated on it and it kind of just like goes everywhere. So we're gonna move on to the rest of my face and then we'll go back to the eyes. For the rest of my face now, I'm gonna go in with a liquid foundation and then a cream foundation. But first, I have a super, super prominent beard. Like mine I find is like, I don't know if you could see because of how brightly lit I am right now, but I find it super, super blue. So I have to use a lot of color corrector. This is just a Ben Nye orange cream color corrector. Um, I just find it's the best at covering it up. It's also cheap. It's not too expensive. You could use like, like if you don't have a lot of money, you could use a lipstick. You could use anything that's orange. Uh, just to cut that color because I find if you don't eventually you'll end up having a little bit of beard peep through and like if you want that work I don't care, but for me, it's just not the fantasy. So we are getting rid of it <laughs> So now that that's all on I take a little bit of powder not too much But I just take a tiny bit of powder on a powder puff and I just set it all in there dust all that off. Now from there, I'm gonna go in with a liquid foundation. I used to always use a cream everywhere, but I find sometimes I just want my foundation to read a little bit more natural everywhere else. Uh, and then I just want the coverage in the areas that I really, really do need it, like my eyelid and around my beard. I use the MAC uh, Pro Long Wear Nourishing Foundation. Um, honest to God, just cause I used to work for MAC, uh, and I do like the finish of it. The only problem I find is that it's like really small and I wish I could like have a little bit more. Like it's only 25 milliliters. Like that's not a lot. So I like crush through it. I just paint it everywhere first. Slop it on just like PVA glue because it is still a full coverage liquid. I just find that sometimes creams can just be a bit heavy throughout the whole face. But like if I'm going to be doing drag all day long, it may be one of the cases where I would need the creams. Okay, so now that I've got it painted over my whole face, I'm just gonna go in with the excess and just really clean up around my brow just to keep that really precise, clean line that I made before. See? And so now I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender, take off some of the excess from my hand, and I'm just gonna pack all this into my skin. This I find this to be the most boring part, but I know every time 
I do like an Instagram or live something, people say they love it just because of the sound. So like, that's my ASMR. Okay, so now that that's all blended in, you can sort of see that I still have some of the orange pump coming through. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can definitely see it here in the mirror that it is a little bit orange still. So I'm gonna go in with my super color. This is super color. I use the color EF85. I find that this is the absolute best coverage I've ever used. Uh, and it's nice and creamy, really thick. And I just go right over my beard area, starting at my chin and going out. Now, after this, I'm gonna do something very controversial, but I am not going to cream contour. I personally don't love cream contouring, like on me, I find that I just have a bit of a heavy hand with it and I tend to go a little bit hardcore. So I just stop doing it, I don't love it. Like I'm really about to expose myself for like how disgusting I am at makeup. So now that it's all on there, I'm gonna go in with my Ben Nye Neutral Set. I love to use this stuff. I find that it is the best, 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 best if you were gonna be like wearing makeup for a long period of time, especially if it's super thick. I use the Colorless. There is definitely colors out there. I just prefer the Colorless, colorless just cause you get it on there and it's done. Like, should I maybe do my makeup differently? Yes. Should I be making smarter decisions with how I powder my face? Probably. Am I gonna continue to do this because I'm lazy? Yes. <coughs> I don't know if you guys can hear, but I keep farting. So I just go in with a matte bronzer uh, and a kabuki brush, something really small but dense. And I just kind of dust it all off, hoping to God that it matches the rest of my face while still keeping a little bit of warmth on my face just cause I'm so pale. So now that we've got that part and there is dust everywhere in the air, we are doing my absolute favorite part of the whole makeup and that's blush. Here is my here is my theory, here is my truth, here is why I do this. I put blush over my whole face just cause I am so, 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 so pale. And I love the look of like little cutesy, like, like when little dolls have like freckles and like really red noses or like Rudolph with his big red nose and like, just like, like blushy embarrassed faces. It's my favorite thing in the world. Like I think it's adorable and that's what I want to look like. So I put blush. Uh, literally any bright pink works. I'm using the bright pink from the Beauty Bay palette. It's called Make Them Wink. Um, but I just take that, that color and I start stamping it at the outside of my face onto my temple just to make sure I really get that color in. And I find too, like the moment you put a wig on, you need always like a little bit more blush. Like wigs just kind of flush the color from you. So if I already have a ton of blush on, I don't have to add more on when I'm done. <coughs> you know? Now I go down onto the apple of my cheek, just with the excess of what was ever, what was on there. Uh, and then I take a little bit more and I do the bridge of my nose. Uh, like, how cute is that? Uh, and then I take a smaller brush uh, and I start to contour around my nose. I love a button nose, like just that little right at the tip. So I just paint all around it to make a little circle. I'm not being too precious with it. Cute. Before we go in with more colors and stuff, I am gonna contour my face. This is literally just like a random MAC contour palette. I tend to use just like a mix of all three of these and completely ignore these highlights. And so with me, what I like to do is I stamp right here at the outer corner of my face with it. And I use a nice, really dense brush. So I just stamp that there right at the tip of my ear and I just kind of softly blend down into the blush and uh, bring it down my neck. I have this like very prominent Adam's apple like here, I'll show you guys from the side. Okay, Adam's apple from the front, soft, gentle, gone. No one can see it. <gasps> From there, I think I've done my whole face. I go in again with my little kabuki brush and I blend it down. Cause it's all about blending, 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 we're blended. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm going to do my nose again. Uh, I know I'm jumping around a lot, but I, I find I have to do that to kind of like stay sane. So I use an eyeshadow called Kid from MAC. 
See how I've got this like crease that I've created here? I'm just gonna kind of extend it into my nose and then blend it up into my brow really softly. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So it helps kind of anchor the rest of my face. Uh, and then from there, I want to glow. I want my face to shine like the sun. I wanna look like a piece of metal in the middle of summer on a hot summer's day. This is Double Gleam from MAC. I find that the highlight on it is literally nuts. So I love the way, like, I go over my whole forehead because I want to look sweaty. Over my, under my nose, under my contour, here and here, and then a little bit on my chin. And then I use my finger and I make my button nose brighter and I slightly go down the bridge. Should I use highlight all over my face? Again, probably not. Am I going to continue? Yes. See, like the way that I just glow now. I'm gonna go back in with more, you guessed it, pink. I'm gonna take this pink again and just pack it right underneath my eye. I'm just gonna pack that and blend that out. Now that we've got that pink all underneath the eye, I'm gonna go in with my liquid liner again. And we're just gonna create a nice straight line going from the inner corner to the tip, but leaving a little bit of a space for that white here. Again, don't try to be too perfect with this uh, because we're gonna be blending it out with black. Okay, so see, we just made a straight line underneath the eye and then another straight line here. They're not great, but to perfect them, we're gonna go back in with that black here and just being really careful we're just softening that edge. So now that those are on there, they're not super, super matchy matchy. Uh, but again, this is for stage. I'm not, again, too concerned about it. Or maybe that's just me being lazy. We're gonna find out later. Then I'm gonna go in just to perfect all of this and just to bring it really all together before I put my lashes on. I'd like to use a white liquid liner and I just brighten up that inner corner. And just to clean this line up right here. Right, so see how that looks a lot cleaner and a lot brighter now that you've added those white to it. You could even add the white liner up into the crease if you really want that nice, clean, precise, uh, crisp line. I kind of don't mind that it's a little softer right now, so I'm just not gonna do that. But what I am gonna do, just to kind of make it look a little bit more glowy, I'm gonna take this Dazzle Shadow Liquid, this one's also from MAC, and I'm just gonna paint it over the lid, just cause I want it to have a little bit more of a glow. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go and do our lips. Then we're gonna put lashes on and we're gonna do some freckles. I'm gonna start with this ColourPop freckle pen. There it is. I love this little dude. Uh, it's really subtle with the freckles, but it makes them super easy. And then I can go in and darken them later with something else. So now that I've got these on and they're pretty subtle, just to make them a little bit brighter for stage, I take a really tiny little brush, this little guy right here, and then I take a nice dark foundation. This one is the NW, I think it's 55 or 58 from MAC. And I just take a little tiny bit of it. And I just kind of dab in certain areas. And then use my finger to spread them out. You don't have to add a ton, it's just a couple here and there. Those are the freckles. And now I'm gonna go in with my lips and I'm gonna add some details to my brows and put some lashes on. This is Plum Lip Liner from MAC. Uh, I tend to use something that's a little bit more brown, but I thought, hey, let's try this one today because I wanna go with a really nice nude lip. So see, I go a lot lower than my natural lip line there. Trying to keep it as straight as possible. <laughs> and then I start going towards the outer corner. See, so it almost creates that like round shape around the lips. So I just softly blended out those edges, like made a bit of a mess, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go in with this like basic nude shade. Cute, right? 
I'm one of the last things I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the finishing touch that I do to my brow. I don't love how it stops right here, so I just wanna bring in those hairs just towards my nose. So those just kind of help bring it in a little bit more and then that just cleans it all up. So from here we finished everything, now I'm just gonna put the lashes on. The lashes that I use are from Dash of Ari. They're a really, really great uh, brand from here in Canada. So I don't put my lashes on right at the lash line. I place them just slightly above the outer corner and then the inner corner I place almost right at my lash line. So it's almost like they angle up with my liner. Okay, so this is the finished makeup. Uh, it's everything that I normally do to my face, plus a couple of fun little extra things. So now I'm gonna go put my hair, my jewelry, and my outfit on, and I will see you in just a sec. Okay, so this is the finished look. This is everything. No, I do not have nails or jewelry on. Shut up. <laughs> but this is it. We made it. I did my very first tutorial. Oh my God, that was so stressful. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe and share and comment and all that fun stuff. Comment on anything that you wanna see, share it with your friends, watch it a hundred million times. I would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Sending you so much love. If you wanna do this look, I would love it if you would tag me on Instagram, do a TikTok or anything. If you wanna know anything about my outfit, my jewelry, or my hair, it's all gonna be tagged below in the description. So read down there and sending you guys so much love. Thank you so much and uh, bye. <laughs>